Hello gang, uh, Jomo here for, well, for Jomo. Um, I'm doing another guitar instruction video, um, mainly because on one of my other ones, uh, I, amazingly enough, was the grandson of my very first guitar teacher, who I sort of got all my chord melody stuff from, replied to it and liked what I was doing and was very interested in learning some stuff that his grandfather taught many, many New York City uh, guitar students. And uh, so I figured I would um, put another one down and break it down for him uh, and for everyone else out there. Um, hopefully with little tidbits about studying with, with Alan when I was a youngster. And uh, yeah, so... Um, also, I welcome any comments or criticisms from, uh, especially from any other uh, Alan Hanlonites out there, because I know there was a mess of us, because I, I remember just, we'd, we'd shuttle in and out there, and there was a lot of students that studied with uh, Alan and Sal Salvador in, in, the, <laughs> in the back rooms of the Ed Sullivan Building in New York. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to do uh, All the Things You Are and try to do it as, as, as it was taught to me by, by Alan Hanlon, um, one of the great uh, New York City guitar teachers and session players and freelance musicians. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's the breakdown section, all the things you are. And, check this out. Yes, in Alan Hamlin's very own hand, here's a chart, an onion skin as we used to call it back in the day, of handwritten of all the things you are. And you can see that, if I put it up here, it's got his little markings on there for the various chord voicings that you use for this this here chord melody solo. I think that is really, really cool. So, and I found a bunch of these that I saved since I was a kid, so I, it's pretty cool. Uh, in any case, here we go, all the things you are. So we start out, and I'm doing this, you can see I've got these little pink dots here that are, um, they're just markers, they're not really on this guitar, but I did it so you could see more where I was on the board. Uh, right, so here I am. Uh, okay, so, uh, this, and I'm going to try and keep both hands up here so you can see, see what I'm doing here. So, uh, the first chord in All the Things You Are is in uh, F minor 7, and we rake from the 5th string to the 2nd string. Right? Then we switch to this little, cool little B minor 7, um, B flat minor 7 voicing, right? which is a 4-3-2-1 voicing, right? And you rake up to the top note of that, come back to the second string, right? Then you change and go to this very interesting, I never understood why you wouldn't just do the regular old bar chord, seven chord thing, but Alan showed me this little voicing, which is very economical, maybe it harkens back to the Freddie Green uh, 
Andy Lang's sort of style of rhythm guitar playing. But the melody is under the pinky there, so... Right, so you pick that, and you go to a, B, a, a flat major 7 here. Go back to the second string. So all of these melody notes are within these chords. Then we go to an e, a D flat major 7. Let's see if you can see that. Right, so I'm strumming down from the 5th to the 2nd string. Going to a G 7th chord, regular old vanilla G 7th chord up here from 4, uh, four 3, 2, 1 voicing. Right, back to the 2nd string again. Right, so this is very... You can see that the melody's note is pretty much on the first and the second string on this. Um, right, to a regular old C, ma C major 7 here, right? Root on the fifth string, so... Right, so then that's the whole first section, so I'll show you what we have so far. part of the A section sort of does the same thing, it just does it in a different key. So we have a C minor 7 to this F minor 7, right? Here's this funky, if I can show it to you, B flat uh, 7 chord to an E flat major 7 there, right? Then we do a plain old vanilla a uh, flat major 7, but only an adulterated imposing what it means, right? So with a, with a, so we just go, right? So, to a D7, if you could catch that. So sometimes Alan would um, issue the chords just so that he could play a turn if the melody so desired it. Okay? So that's the whole uh, sort of A section. Then the B section, um, again, he just sort of di dictates the melody, he just plays the melody part. So he just comes up this out of that that sort of fingering of a major scale. So this is a it's like a, an A minor seven, right? Um, with a with an eleven on it, right? Back to the A minor seven, right? Then he does his single notes again. Uh, Sorry, oh, messed that up. Single note. I thought that was very cool, that half step motion he did there. Right? It makes your ear go, whoo, what the heck's going on there, right? So, to a G major 7. Then, single notes again. Um, and again, that same move with it, with a uh, an F sharp, F sharp uh, minor 11, I guess you might call it. Even though it's really just a one, a five, a seven, and the the 11 on top. It's not a minor, but it's sort of inferred to the F minor seven single notes. an F major 7 to an E E major 7. And then this little turnaround here was an augmented chord, which that was my first experience with an augmented chord. And it's just, I think he would do. Right. Then back again to the same beginning. That's a D 
D flat minor seven with a nine on top, okay, and a, and a C minor seven raked up to the third of it to the third string. Um, then a diminished uh, chord, I think. Um, right, you can see that. Diminished, or you know, whatever you want to call it, diminished. It could be a D diminished, or whatever. But it's just half stepping. It's just uh, three, six, two, fiving around. Okay. Here's here's our B flat minor seven, our two chord. Two and E flat thirteen chord. Uh, 913 chord. I don't know if you can see that. To an E flat, uh, flat 9. Okay. To a regular old vanilla A flat 6 chord. That's basically it. Sort of short and sweet. Uh, from soup to nuts. Once again, ooh, ah, in Alan Hanlon's own hand, I don't know if you can see that, I think it's worth the price of admission right here, um, cool, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know what you think, okay, bye.